Hello. Um, I wanted to show you uh, what I ran into in getting this GPS uh, unit to work. It's a USB and I saw on here a couple of things that attracted me. It says U-Blocks Ubo chipset. Uh, it's supposed to work. It doesn't say here, uh, it, you know, GNSS evaluation software. In fact, they uh, point you to the use center software that uBlocks provides. So uh, that's the the software that, that they intend for you to use. Um, anyway, I I got it. Uh, the several things that uh, if you're going to use this like I did on my computer at home on a Windows 7 computer. The first thing you might want to do when you order it is to get an extension, a USB extension, because this six foot cable doesn't get anywhere near my window and it will not uh, pick up satellites inside the house, at least it wouldn't in my house. So once I got a 12 foot USB extension to plug it in, um, got it near my window, good signal. Okay. Now, uh, the when you get the disk, uh, it, it, all it comes with, there's no instructions, um, you'll get a disk, uh, a CD, a small CD, and I think it has on it um, the use center software and probably documentation on how to use that, but I don't have a CD drive on my uh, computer, <laughs> so I went to the use center uh, uBlocks, uCenter Windows uh, download page, and uh, I went through this process of downloading um, uCenter. And let me just, so it takes a little bit, I have a fast internet connection, so I don't know how long this will take. Okay, now, uh, so you have to unwrap it, copy it out to uh, the directory you're working in, okay. and then run it. Yes, accept it there in English. Yes, agree. Yeah, okay, let me look. Um, they have a standard driver. I don't know. Uh, I tried all of, uh, I tried these two things. I didn't try not installing a driver and getting one from somewhere else. Somebody else in the group who's, you know, who bought this, I think uh, they were able to get it working that way, like using a standard serial, USB serial uh, driver. Uh, but anyway, I just took the one uh, that came, uh, the default. I just took the default. Okay. And here I'm actually writing over my current installation. I'm going to launch it. And I've got two screen. Oops. Okay. Now it's popping. I've already got this thing plugged in. Oh. <laughs> okay. Everything didn't get carried over. All right. Um, I've got that on my other uh, screen. Anyway, you can see that it's picking up a bunch of satellites already. Now the default in here is a network connection to, it's called Sensor API. So that was the default driver that it put in. Now let me show you something I found only after quite some time in the control panel uh, system device manager. There's the uBlocks uh, port. So you can you can check that out if you want. I don't know if it tells you here. Uh, port settings is oh, uh, 9600, eight, none, and one, and no flow control. That's the de that's what they expect. I found that later on. I didn't change it. It was set at the default, but uh, uh, that could have caused me troubles if uh, if it, if they didn't have it set correctly, and uh, it's just virtual there. So there's not much to learn from the device manager. Now if you go back a ways, oops, went too far. 
in the control panel under location and other devices. Not as obvious as I would like it. And here, you see, they ins this is what the thing installs. And by default, it is not enabled. Let me warn you of that. So you need, as soon as you install your, mine is running because I already came in here and checked this little box. Okay? But if you were like, you know, when I did it, I came into U-Center, their software, and nothing happened. And it took me a long time to get around to find. You have to get in into this location and other sensors part of the control panel. Uh, get to the location sensor driver that it puts in and just check this little box. Now let's see what it can tell us in here. Uh, oh, I also found this. Who can check? This box, one time when I was going in and out of this thing, for some reason this box got unchecked and I lost a couple of hours because I didn't know that uh, Windows would go in there and change the access on me. Um, so be aware that that's, that's in there. So uh, where was that? That's basically in, okay, in the location and other sensors, down inside the sensor stuff, who can access sensors? And that box has to be checked. Okay. Uh, what else was there? Change. There wasn't. There's not much else you can do in here. Uh, this one works, but it doesn't do some things. Let me tell you. Uh, let me close this. Okay. I'm in here. Uh, let, let's go through. Let's run it through its paces. The first of all, um, there's a. I'm going to show you the messages view. Uh, you can look at some of the other stuff it's currently sending in. If you look at the text console, this is what it's sending in here. These blocks of five or six uh, GPSG or GPG uh, things. SVs for satellites in view. LL for lat long. SA is active satellites. LL, uh, let's see, SASV, TGA. Uh, I don't remember all the names. I actually am in the process of, of um, uh, translating this, what they call NMEA text format into something real uh, that I can use in JavaScript. I do a lot of my, most all of my programming in JavaScript now. So uh, that's just, you can figure out what you want to do. But that's, this is convenient, but it's not very powerful. Particularly, what I would like to do is go go beyond what they've done. The chip itself has has software <clears throat> to read the satellite data. They're sending their ephemeris and time and and um, uh, range and I don't know what all uh, their information in. And from that, you're supposed to be able to calculate uh, your position. Uh, they do that for you on the chip. And then they report to you these these little NMEA sentences. They give you uh, the lat long and so on. So they they filter this thing extensively because you, you know, they're seeing all the satellites and all the complexity of everything that's going on, and all they're sending to you is basically a, a series of positions and and some information about which satellites, but no detail about what's going on in each satellite. Now I want to show you in here. This is well, inside. This is the NMEA sentences. Okay, the grayed out ones aren't doing anything. If you click on on any one that's darker or just a tiny bit darker, you'll see the real data comes in here. If you click on another one, it's just an empty uh, form. So these darker ones are real data coming. If I close that, there's some other stuff in here. UBX is the protocol or the language that um, uh, Ublocks invented and they use to speak to their uh, devices. Uh, they send UBX commands and they get UBX responses. Among the responses, there should be in here uh, stuff about the ephemeris. But oh, did you see that? For one tiny blink, this. Uh, for a tiny blink, the receiver manager uh, lights up. I cannot, for the life of me, uh, get this device to listen to UBX 
Oh, it will listen, apparently. I'm sending, as far as I can tell, I'm sending these UBX commands. Every time you click on something in here, it sends a command, the, the equivalent command, to the UBX uh, uh, device manager on the chip. So you're speaking UBX messages, and they're getting sent to uh, the chip when you click on these. But what's not happening is it's not telling it to just keep doing it. <laughs> so I don't know how to tell it to get to do it and to send the results back. So I have no idea what my, I, I know what an ephemeris is. And I know what I would like to see is the ephemeris from all the satellites from which I could compute the position, you know, and some other information. I can compute the position myself, but I can't do it there. Uh, these things further down here, uh, this subframe data is supposed to be this raw data from the satellite, which contains everything that it can tell you and it, everything that the chip is using to compute the positions. So that's, the, that's what I would like to see, but I cannot yet get it. I think there's a way to do it. Uh, the, part of the problem seems to be that this is a ROM-based device. Okay, um, that is, the instructions are hard written and permanently written onto the chip or the device itself, and that that means that I can't change the settings apparently on it, so it will not configure itself to do something different. For instance, back up there in the NMEA things, it'd be kind of nice. Can I do this? Can, okay, say I wanted. To, I didn't really use this stuff. I, can I disable that? Well, in fact, no. It's hard-coded to keep sending these same NMEA sentences to me no matter what. So even if I don't need those for my application or for what I'm looking at, I can't turn that off. Now, if you go in and talk to the chip yourself and you build a device from scratch kind of and talk to the chip, you can have control over that, I presume. Uh, using uCenter, which should be a nice little universal tool, uh, you can't do it at this point. It gives you those from this chip, from this device, uh, and that's it. Um, oh, all right, let me do a couple of things. Uh, this table view, at first I, th I couldn't figure out what in the heck is going on, but if you click the plus sign, you can set the UTC. I'm holding the control key down now. Uh, let's go find it. There down. There we go. Control, control, X, Y, Z. Uh, uh, some of the other ones. Uh, mine is not moving, so speed won't matter. But you could go in and the X, V, Y, Z, Z, north, east, and down, down, up. Oh, I would think. Okay, speed. You can pick a bunch of these, and then. Um, uh, accept that and now here's here's the list of things that have been put onto the table and I, pre I haven't played with this I presume you can export this and do some stuff uh, I work with data so I like to see things in tables I like to have numbers that I can do stuff with I don't particularly care for uh, somebody else's <laughs> report that's just me so anyway, uh, I hope that will give you an idea. Uh, basically, uh, download, you, you know, well, I don't have it here. Uh, let me just kill this. Okay, so download and install uCenter for Windows. Uh, double check your uh, control panel uh, for, not, uh, for location under control panel for these location, oh, sorry, location and other sensors uh, for uh, make sure the uBlocks thing is in there, that it's enabled, and that people can access it, that you go further, who can access it, that that's there. So those, that's just kind of some of the thing. I, th I spent close to a week figuring these things out, so I hope I can save you guys some time. Good luck.